Victor Hugo was born in France on February 26, 1802. His father was an anti-establishment atheist, and his mother was very religious. And I know what you're thinking, true love and power through differences like that, but you were very, very wrong. The two broke up when Hugo was young, and Hugo lived with his mother. He began to write, and his meteoric rise to fame culminated in the iconic story of Hunchback of Notre Dame. The story is about a horribly deformed man named Quasimodo with a malicious religious adoptive father named Frollo. Frollo has his eyes set on a beautiful gypsy named La Esmeralda. Cast her spell, don't let her fire sear my flesh and bone. Destroy Esmeralda and let her taste the fires of hell, or else let her be mine and mine alone. Frollo betrays Quasimodo and Esmeralda after the two try to run away together. And Frollo hangs the gypsy, and Quasimodo then throws Frollo off the building. I guess you could say Frollo fell out of love. Yup, believe it, I am not funny. This book is full of references to the 15th century because that's where it takes place. The most famous being the cathedral where this most of the story takes place. Because most of it was new at the time. A lot of the book is drenched in Hugo's personal beliefs. Since he grew up with his religious mother, it is pretty predictable that he, as a young adult, rebelled against and became an atheist like his father. That's probably why Frollo was the antagonist of the story. The story does reflect society's great downfalls, but it was initially written so Hugo could prove to his contemporaries that Gothic was a viable genre. That being said, it does raise great questions about religion, dominating a society, and how people really judge books by their covers. This is what makes it a classic. The classic raises questions that stand the test of time and resonate among all generations, and it really does. How many times have you walked down the hallway and made fun of someone's appearance without knowing them? It's called, it's called the Quasimodo effect because, well, this is Brandon Land, and fact and scholar scholarly opinions don't exist here. Finally, there are the mo two most famous adaptions of the book. One being the 1939 live-action film, and the other being the 1996 Disney animated movie. Both are very similar in it, romanticizing of the deeply depressing plot. However, both feature huge differences. In the 1939 movie, Frollo is a good guy and his younger drunk brother is evil and not religious. In the Disney movie, Esmeralda doesn't die at the end. Oh, and the gargoyle talking thing. So there's that. 